What's up everybody, D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I just got to the UPS. If you guys can see that over there after six hours of doing retail arbitrage and all that stuff, you know, straight. Oh, we was on a mission today because a few people been hitting me up about an hourly rate and it was like, well, how much do you make per hour or, or you know, what's like an average hour or stuff like that. And I'm like, and I would just reply, like, I don't know. Like, I've never really calculated any of this stuff an hour like, because I never really cared about any of that stuff, you know. So today we went out and we did six hours straight. That's like everything, you know, that's packaging, labeling, you know. Um, again, we're at UPS right now to package this stuff off. Like after I finish this video, I'm going to take it in there. So it's been a total of around six hours. So we're looking at around $930 in profit. And that's just like, just, just straight profit. Like, I mean, it was, today I'm not going to lie. I got lucky. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I got extremely lucky. So I went into a store that I rarely go into. You know, I probably go in there like once every two weeks or so. Like, I mean, rarely go in, go in this store. And I find this product that, you know, I'm normally like selling all the damn time. And... It was just sitting right there on clearance. So we're going to be making around $70 in profit on each one. And that's after all fees. Like, I wish I could have found more because that would have been great. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, couldn't find that many of them. But, you know, picked up, you know, picked up what I could and, you know, took them home, packaged everything up and sent it right off. So that was pretty much the end of it. And the best part about it, too, is that I didn't have to, like, go and look for the product or hope it was going to be at a store or any of that all you have to do guys instead of like using like something like break seek and stuff like that now i'm not saying don't use it but for me personally i've never really had like major 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 success with brick seek i've seen some people just absolutely crush it with big brick seek they go to the store the products there the whole nine yards for me the product was never there like especially at walmart i didn't find i think i only found one product that was on brick seek and at walmart at, on brick seat it'll be like oh yeah there's this many there you get to the store there isn't any of them there at all all right so when it comes to them using like the little gun thing like a little phone like gadget whatever thing they got or whatnot it sucks that we can't get that app like i, I even asked them like hey, is there any way i can get that up it's like no it's just for employees only so that sucks or whatever but you know they can scan a product and it's like 100 percent accurate like it'll be like oh there's this many over here this many over here this many over here this many over here so all i have to do is just take down the addresses of where they're at and then just go pick them up that was literally how simple it went today the only downfall was that they were so far apart so it took me around like probably like three hours and some change just driving everywhere to get there but i mean it was stupid easy like i said 150 bucks basically an hour and we only burnt like 20 bucks worth of gas so i mean yeah it was 155 dollars per uh per hour or whatever if you like break it down and divide everything up so it was real simple stuff good and easy day i even found um a few products over at the goodwill when i stopped through there and if you guys aren't a land shark profits member definitely go you know go join there and watch um gems in plain sight I'm telling you guys like you, you're gonna kill, kick yourself in the face when you realize all the products you walk by in the goodwill like just crazy stuff like this product i'm actually gonna uh be sending off or whatnot oh, i think i paid what three dollars for it and it's selling for what was it a hundred it's like let's just say like a hundred plus dollars like and they're every single time you know like not every time they're in there but they come in there like quite frequently and just they're just like right there and people just don't pick them up like i was passing the ball the damn time myself or whatever you know until i just started like looking stuff up or whatnot but that's pretty much it guys so hopefully this gave you guys a more of an insight or whatnot you know on how to do stuff and how much you know you can make per hour and all that like i said keep in mind this is just my experience it could be completely different in your area like if you are doing like um what do you call it like just straight thrift storing and stuff like that it will take you a lot longer than six hours to like put all this stuff together to be 100 percent honest because like i said for me it went by in like 30 minutes putting everything in a box label and everything was because i only had like two or three different products right so i just escape uh, i just you know put everything on there and you know put the labels on and then literally put in the box took like 30 minutes max right and then i'm now i'm just driving up the street taking it to uh, ups now when you got a bunch of different products like if you're doing thrift store you know you're gonna have like a hundred different products it's gonna take you like two or three sometimes even four or five hours depending on how quick you are to put everything in a box label it check it the whole nine yards with this stuff i didn't have to check it i didn't have to do any of that 
But that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff.